Morning. We're all getting settled. Got breakfast in us. We're about to head out from the uh, Gitter Grove Hostel, going back to Winding Stair shortly. And uh, there was a small crisis with me losing my shoes, but I finally found them, so we're good there. And we'll see you with you guys uh, when we get back to Winding Stair shortly. So I know there was a fire in this area a few years ago, but this still looks really fresh, like it just happened last year or earlier this year or something. Just a lot of charred trees going on. So something I never mentioned, I just remembered. Um, I think it was when I was at Hostel Around the Bend when I did laundry. Uh, I remember throwing in my buff into the wash and then somewhere I lost it along the way. That was the last time I saw it. Maybe it never made it to the dryer and I just never noticed that I didn't have it when I packed out of there, but anyway. So I've been missing my buff for the last couple days. And then when I got to the uh, Outfitters in Franklin, had to get my feet checked out. Um, I was asking them, well, the only other thing I'm looking for is a buff. And they just so happened to give free buffs to through hikers there. Um, I think Outdoor 76 was the name of the outfitters. So I got a free buff. So problem solved there. I've only been using it as a uh, pillowcase and not really anything else. So it's not too big of a deal if I didn't have one anymore, but otherwise we're good to go. Seems like since being in North Carolina, the trail's significantly easier. Whereas Georgia was like straight up and down mountains and it was very rocky with roots and stuff everywhere. Uh, North Carolina has much gentler slopes up and slopes down. Switchbacks are more common, stuff like that. This trail right now is slightly more rockier, but even that is not that bad to walk on in comparison to other stuff. I'm up towards uh, Seilerbald. The uh, path to the shelter goes down that way. The AT continues that way. And the Siler Bald itself is up to the top of that way. So the weather forecast for these next couple days is going to be where we're going to get some experience with the rain. Today's supposed to be pretty nice, just overcast. Temperatures aren't going to be very hot, like in the 60s. But uh, starting tonight, we're going to get some rain. And then like all tomorrow, it's supposed to be raining, potential for thunderstorms. And the next day, it's supposed to be raining, potential for thunderstorms. And then I think the next day is supposed to be raining, potential for thunderstorms. And then maybe a few days of sunshine, but it's going to be a fun couple of days coming up. And this coming up is Waya Gap. It's just a short road crossing, it looks like. Let's see, split off for the Bartram Trail. Why a ball is 1.6 miles. Coming up on the Why Bald Fire Tower.
There's a little history about the tower. Looks like it's uh, changed shape over the years a little bit. So there's a diagram. Uh, it's got Standing Indian Mountain. We crossed over that a couple of days ago. And that's going to be that one way over there. That second uphill? Huh? See the shelter down there? Should be the Wyabald shelter. Here's my setup for tonight. I'm kind of off by myself in this little spot. The uh, area is kind of set up on a hill. The spots are kind of spread out a little bit. Shelter's up there. We've got a full house tonight and uh, half a dozen tents or so so far. But I think I'm going to get um, some water and uh, probably start cooking up some dinner here shortly. Alright, I'm going to sign off here for the night. I think it's about bedtime. Might get some rain tonight. Um, hopefully overall it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not expecting too much rain even throughout tomorrow and stuff. Um, but we'll see. I'm not too worried. It'll be fun, a good test of rain gear and stuff, hiking through the rain tomorrow if, uh, if it gets that bad. But um, otherwise, I will uh, see you guys in the morning. Morning. Got a little bit of off and on rain last night, a little rain right now. Um, as soon as it lets up again, I think I'm going to go start getting ready to get my bear bag and stuff. try to film as much as I can in between rain showers, but it's going to be like this for the next uh, three days. Just kind of intermittent off and on. My camera is not uh, waterproof at all, so I just got to be careful with it. Well, I'm at a gap right now with some power lines cutting through and the rain just let up for a minute so I'll finally get to film something for a second. <sighs> and my lens is totally fogging up but I'll get this out while I can. Um, I think I'm like just a couple of miles to the uh, shelter I'm going to plan on staying at. I uh, was at cold something shelter for like 15 minutes, a little bit back. Um, just grabbed a quick bite to eat. But there's so much rain going on today, I'm just trudging through it as quick as I can. And um, it's possible that by the time I get to my shelter, that the uh, rain will let up for like an hour or so, and I'll just set up a tent real quick. Uh, and then just hunker down for like the next 18 hours. But that's kind of the plan for now. I'll check back in when I get to the uh, shelter. Now on top of Westerbald, there's the Westerbald Fire Tower. And then uh, from here, we're about a mile or so to get to the Westerbald Shelter down that way. And that's going to be the destination for tonight. I think we're at that point where the rain's kind of stopped for a little bit. Um, hopefully I can speed it up to the uh, shelter area and uh, pitch a tent real quick. Alright, right now it is not raining. I finally made it to camp. I got my tent set up. There's a bunch of people down in the shelter itself, and um, let me just recap today, since it was kind of difficult to film, first day hiking in the rain. Yeah, pretty much rained all day. Um, it would only stop for about a minute at a time. It would just kind of lighten up a little bit, and then I'd try to maybe pull my camera out, get one or two shots, and then um, it would start raining again. I think it's supposed to be about the same um, tomorrow, just kind of off and on rainy, mostly rainy all day. But... Um, Started out at the uh, Wyabald shelter this morning and then hiked about five miles, got to the um, Cold Spring shelter. Now I chilled there for about 15 minutes, just got some food, some water, and just a little bit of a rest. And then I uh, just continued on from there. 
And then right now I'm at the uh, the Wesserbald shelter is where I'm currently at, which is about six miles outside of the NOC. So we'll hit the NOC um, sometime around 11 or noon, and I'm going to try to stay there for a night, I think. So it's going to be a short day tomorrow. Try to get some uh, food and a resupply and everything and a nice uh, place to stay. Kind of check out their facilities a little bit. It's going to be raining, so I probably can't do too much, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I think it's going to start raining again a little bit later, so I'm probably just going to hunker down in my um, tent most of the night and um, just try to stay warm. Um, if anything else significant happens, I'll check back in later. Otherwise, that's it for now. Well, it looks like the rain's going to hold off for at least a little while. It hasn't rained in a couple of hours, and um, it doesn't look like it's going to rain for a while, which will be really nice. So, um, I got dinner and everything done already. It's still only like, I think it's before 6 o'clock even still, but I'm going to uh, probably just go to bed early here and just try to sleep for like 12 hours, and then uh, get up and hike out. I've already got a room booked um, at the NOC. They had, um, sounded like their hostel style bunkhouse had kind of basic amenities, or they had um, one of their nicer, like, motel room is what they call it, um, accommodations. It's more expensive though, but I was like, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for the nicer room. So I'll be able to do some more uh, laundry and whatnot uh, when I get there and have a nice place to stay. So it's going to be kind of a Nero getting into the NOC tomorrow, and we'll just have all day to uh, do a resupply and just kind of chill and make sure my feet are doing okay still. I'll probably just sign off for here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.